Hey everyone, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on creating a flanger effect in Reactor. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots and lots of stuff on there, hours of videos of tutorials for Reactor, Massive, FM8, and more. Alright, so let's get started. So the flanger is part of a group of audio effects that is created by modulating the time of a delay line. So to begin with, let's create our delay line and talk about how we can modulate the delay. Uh, a really simple method is just to use a sine oscillator and we're going to want it to have a very slow frequency so we're going to create a uh, frequency to pitch module which is called the logarithmic F module in reactor primary and this will translate from a frequency value to a pitch value for the sine wave and then we can choose a frequency for our sine wave now this default frequency knob is going to have a range from 0 to 5000 which is really just way beyond what we need for a flanger so I'm going to give it a maximum value of 1 and a very small minimum and we want to make sure to set the step size to 0 or something very small and this can create our basic um, delay line modulation and the next thing we want to do is to give our delay line a audio input to start and once the delay line becomes an audio unit instead of an event unit we have this little menu here to choose between uh, the different qualities of interpolation that we can do and so let's just set it to high it probably doesn't make that much of a difference but just in case all right, so coming out of our delay line, we want to create uh, two audio signals, a feedback signal and a feed forward signal. So to create a feedback signal, we can simply multiply the delay output by a value smaller than 1, and 0.7 is a pretty standard value for this. And that value gets added back to the input so that creates our feedback the uh, output of the delay is going to feed back into the input of the delay and we could create another uh, multiplication coming out of the delay for our feed forward but we're going to have a feed forward uh, that also uses 0.7 as a coefficient so we can just keep the uh, feed forward value as it is just coming out of the uh, 0 0.7 but this signal is going to go forward and instead of feeding back into the delay line okay so we can take the feedback plus the input and we're going to multiply that by 0.7 as well and we'll take the product of that multiplication and add it to our feed forward signal and that is going to be the uh, bulk of our flanging device alright so let's connect everything to the inputs and outputs and when making effects just remember to keep in mind that uh, you always want to have them be mono or you almost always want to have them be mono so you can get rid of the voice combiners, you can set this macro here to mono and if you want to take one last look at the structure here, most of the actions happening with this add module you can see how it flows into the other modules around it alright, let's take a quick uh, listen Okay, so that's not quite working properly yet, 
And the reason is, is I've made a slight error with our delay line here, where the delay time is ranging between negative one and one milliseconds. And you can't really have a negative delay time, it just doesn't work. So what we need to do is instead change the range so that it's always positive. So I'm just going to take the output of the sine and oscillator and add it to 1. So now it has a range between 0 and 2 milliseconds, which is a good range for a flanger. Alright, so I just wanted to point out here that you could change this structure pretty simply to act as one of the other FX that uses a modulated delay line as its main uh, way to interact with the audio. And some uh, examples of other types of effects that use this basic structure would be a chorus, a uh, vibrato you could make, uh, a doubling effect as well. So this is a pretty interesting structure, and you can get those other effects by changing the frequency of the sine wave and the coefficients for the feedback and feedforward values. So you can experiment with those, or maybe even replace them with knobs to get a wide range of modulated delay line effects. For right now, however, I'm just going to add a simple dry-wet knob to the structure. I find the flanging effect can be a little aggressive sometimes. And you can use this method to create a wet knob for any effect that you want, pretty much. Just make sure to keep the crossfader mono as well. And I'll just create a simple knob here, rename it to wet. That'll let us turn our flanging effect up or down. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to check out some more of our work, we have a plethora of written reactor tutorials at reactortutorials.com. I hope you'll come check it out. Have a good week.